Hi, I'm Think Tanker Meeks, man. This is daily vlog number two, and I am extremely excited, and I know you probably can't tell because I woke up sick today, but I will try to overcompensate with, for my lack of voice and my extremely sickness by using my eyebrows in an extremely random and entertaining manner. Um, I'm excited because... Uh, yesterday I posted my first daily vlog, which everyone's probably going to see today anyway, because I posted it so late last night, um, and it's already working. The purpose of them is to get me excited to make things and make me, you know, want to make new things, and I'm already, you know, inspired and excited to be doing today's daily vlog right now. The first thing that I learned is that if I want to have time to upload them and annotate them and share them and do all the stuff that I want to do uh, with these daily vlogs, that I need to be doing them early in the morning. Because last night I did it at 10.30. <coughs> yeah, eyebrows. <coughs> to convey my excitement. <coughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> so I said there was going to be no editing. I'm going to change that and say there's going to be minimal editing. The point is that the daily vlogs are already working. That I'm already excited to make more daily vlogs and to do work on my three new projects, which I promised you I would... May I would do it today. Excited eyebrow waggle? My three projects are as follows. One, Indie Compass. Indie Compass is going to be a weekly show dedicated to analyzing video games as art through the lens of art history and art theory. So taking all the stuff that my wife learned in her degree and applying it to video games. Excited eyebrow waggle! Indie Comes is about analyzing video games as art. It should come out soon. I would like to have it out before the end of the year, and it'll be weekly. Overcompensating eyebrow waggle. Second project is the Lullaby Project, which is going to be a non non-profit, not making any money, no ads on it, um, daily uploaded uh, YouTube collaboration project. Um, it's essentially based on the idea that any song can be a lullaby. I will be taking songs, singing them as lullabies, and then accepting submissions from the community. And I want to build a giant music library of any song sung as a lullaby. Because I think that I want to explore with this project what it means to soothe yourself and to soothe other people. And I want to have an interactive experience where people are having the chance to uh, soothe other people, to sing to other people and be sung to in a way that calms them down and brings them together and lifts them up and those things. I think I'm going to make that the tagline, calm down, come together, be inspired, raise up, something like that. Eyebrow waggle. The third project is actually uh, more my wife's project. Um, we're going to be starting a podcast similar to... Um, similar to Good Mythical Morning and uh, a podcast run by Dan Wells and Rob Wells called Do I Dare to Eat a Peach, where Rob and Dan talk about top ten lists and they, um, they say whether or not they agree with the top ten lists and essentially it's their opportunity to talk about movies and books and you know concepts and different ideas and Good Mythical Morning is just a chance for people for Rhett and Link to come together and be goofy together every single morning and uh, I, they're really great ideas and Eliza is more in charge of it than I am but I'm helping make it and so I'm it's one of my projects. I'm so excited those are the three projects. We're hoping to get them started uh, as soon as possible. Um, the Hanbun podcast, we're actually hoping on uh, recording the first episode tonight. So we'll see how that goes. This is good news. I'll keep you posted on it. Um, anyway, this has gone on for way too long and been way too edited, so I'm going to say goodbye. And uh, end screen music. <laughs> Um, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>